Today, we're going to answer popular questions to help you understand e-cigarettes and their health effects. There's a lot to cover on this subject. We sat down with Dr. Karen Kelly, a physician in Florida, to help navigate it. First, we asked Dr. Kelly, what are the differences between regular cigarettes and e-cigarettes? Cigarettes uh, uh, burn tobacco leaves, and e-cigarettes burn in liquid by a heating element. Both of these cigarettes and e-cigarettes have nicotine in them. How much do we know about e-cigarettes compared to regular cigarettes? 50 years ago, the first Surgeon General's report about cigarettes came out, about how harmful they are to your health. For e-cigarettes, they came out in the year around 2007. So there's far less than 20 years of any kind of experience related to e-cigarettes and how harmful they are. E-cigarettes came on the market to be a way to stop cigarette smoking. That statement was never tested or never investigated or studied. The e-cigarette companies are completely welcome to go through the FDA and get authorized for the use of smoking cessation. But to this date, not one e-cigarette company has applied for it. Cigarettes are widely known to be addictive. More and more research shows that e-cigarettes are just as addictive, if not more. Is that true? So the big thing about nicotine is to know that it is touted as one of the most addictive substances. It is as addicting as heroin and cocaine on a person's body and on a person's mind. The other thing about nicotine is that it can also be altered in a lab. And back in the day, when cigarettes came out, cigarette companies added ammonia to the uh, cigarettes to make it more powerful, the nicotine that is. And now, in this day and age, the e-cigarette companies are doing the same thing by adding salts to the nicotine. Nicotine salt makes it so that it is less irritating to your lungs and your body. And so, unfortunately, you can inhale way more uh, nicotine. And as a result, you will get addicted much easier. What are the direct health effects of using e-cigarettes that we know of so far? Once the vapor is made from the e-cigarette device, it is something that you're breathing into your lungs. The e-cigarette vapor is not harmless water vapor, like the companies are touting, and people believe that. It has lots of chemicals in the vapor. It's just like when cigarettes, when they're burned, there's thousands of chemicals that come out of them. And we know now that 60 to 70 chemicals that are being burned in tobacco cause cancer to people who are smoking and to people who are also secondhand smoking because they're standing near the smoker. And when it comes to e-cigarettes, that vapor also has some of the same cancer-causing substances they're finding as cigarettes do. But they also found um, heavy metals like lead, and they also found organic volatile substances like formaldehyde and all kinds of compounds that cause cancer, very similar to the cigarette smoke. So you are inhaling that vapor that people think is harmless water vapor, and it is not. It is full of unregulated amounts of those chemicals. When they're doing studies now on the e-cigarette vapor and they're actually exposing mice to the e-cigarette vapors, and what they found is that in a small amount of time, in just a few weeks, the mice were noted to have lung, heart, and bladder damage. And the other surprising thing was they weren't able to repair that damage. E-cigarette users are more than 50% likely to have a heart attack over non-users and more than 30% likely to have a stroke over non-users. Those two stats alone are very concerning. Some people think that e-cigarettes can help them quit regular cigarettes. Can you tell us more about the problems with using e-cigarettes to quit smoking? When e-cigarettes came on the scene, it was touted as a method to stop cigarette smoking. When you're using the e-cigarette juice, However, you're inhaling nicotine at various different levels. And due to the nicotine salts, the levels are much higher than you can get out of a cigarette. So you become addicted to nicotine. 
users are found to not quit and to go back to using regular cigarettes. So when you're using cigarettes and e-cigarettes, you're what they call a dual user. And there is absolutely no health benefits to being a dual user. While e-cigarettes are not a safe alternative to smoking, there are proven and effective ways to quit nicotine. If you are looking to quit e-cigarettes, know there is help. Tobacco Free Florida offers free resources on their website. That is tobaccofreeflorida.com or over the phone, 1-877-YOU-CAN-NOW.